Sometimes, when creating scientific visualizations, not all of the information necessary to create the visualization is known, so we have to make decisions about how to depict certain aspects of a process, although there's only incomplete scientific information available. After APAF1 monomers bind to cytochrome C and unfold, several APAF1 monomers bind together to form the base of the apoptosome. It's unclear from the scientific literature whether caspase 9 binds to APAF1 before or after the base of the apoptosome forms. In most scientific visualizations and existing diagrams, caspase 9 is almost always depicted as binding to APAF1 after the base of the apoptosome forms. There's no evidence, however, to suggest that caspase 9 must wait for the apoptosome base to form before it can bind, so we chose to depict both scenarios in our animation. While most caspase 9 molecules bind to the base of the apoptosome after it forms, we show one caspase 9 already bound to APAF1 when it binds to the almost completed base. The dynamics of caspase 9 also presented another interesting challenge. Most of the existing apoptosome assembly animations depict caspase 9 as a small, rigid structure. In the past, less was known about the dynamics of caspase 9 activation. In fact, our own 2007 image depicted caspase 9 as a small structure that sat on top of the base of the apoptosome. We now know, by looking for caspase 9 crystal structures in the PDB earlier in this course, that caspase 9 is a larger molecule with a flexible linker holding together two functional domains. The domain that sits above APAF1's card domain is the caspase 9 card domain. The domain on the other end of the flexible 45 amino acid long linker is the catalytic domain the domain that's responsible for activating caspase 3. We know that the catalytic domain of caspase 9 binds to and activates caspase 3, but how and where does caspase 9 become activated? There were two theories in the primary scientific literature that described how caspase 9 could become activated. One theory states that two caspase 9 molecules bind to the base of the apoptosome at one time, the two catalytic domains of caspase 9 bind to one another above the base of the apoptosome and activate each other there. In another theory of caspase 9 activation, up to seven caspase 9 molecules are able to bind to the apoptosome at one time, creating an APAF1 caspase 9 card card ring. To activate caspase 9, the catalytic domain must dock to the base of the apoptosome. Docking to the apoptosome causes a conformational change in the catalytic domain of caspase 9 that activates it. In this model, only one caspase 9 catalytic domain docks to the base of the apoptosome at a time, while the other 9 catalytic domains are tethered to the apoptosome but are able to move around freely. An electron density map of the apoptosome showed a structure that was the size of the card-card ring that bound asymmetrically on the base of the apoptosome, consistent with the second model. Our discussions with the apoptosome structural expert further supported the second model. So while this is still an active area of research, we chose to depict the second model in our animation 